the interplanar spacing in a cubic system. Consider a cubic crystal with a lattice constant A. Find the interplanar spacing DHKL between two adjacent HKL planes. So uh, by the definition of Miller indices, this HKL plane will intersect X, Y, and Z axis as at A over H, A over K, and A over L, as you can see here. And I picked up two vectors U and V that are on this plane and that are non-collinear. So uh, the question here was basically answered in uh, week 2-1 Miller indices lecture, so I suggest that you review that. Uh, so I'm going to uh, basically do almost the same thing with a uh, slight modification. So the first thing I note is that in a cubic crystal, this was uh, suggested in the lecture, uh, HKL direction is perpendicular to the HKL plane. So if I have an HKL uh, direction, this is perpendicular to HKL plane. So Let's prove this. If I look at these uh, two non-collinear vectors, U and V, on the HKL plane, uh, this HKL plane contains two non-collinear vectors, u vector and v vector here. And these vectors are, as you can see, a over h i hat minus a over l k hat and v vector is a over k j hat minus a over l k hat. Now if I pick a vector in the hkl direction vector A in the HKL direction is basically H I hat K j hat, l, k hat, the unit vectors on the x, y, z coordinate axis. So uh, if I take the dot product with this u vector with a, I find a over h i hat minus a over l k hat, dot product with h i hat, k j hat, l k hat, this will give me a over h times h minus a over l times l, which is 0. So I find that this vector a is perpendicular to a u vector. So a vector is perpendicular to u vector. Now if I look at the dot product with the v vector similarly, v dot a is a over k j hat minus a over l k hat 
that product with H I hat J A K J hat L K hat this will give me uh, A over K times K minus a over L times L which is 0 so a vector is perpendicular to V vector so what is the conclusion here so I find that the HKL direction is perpendicular to two non-collinear vectors on the HKL plane simultaneously Therefore, I can conclude that the HKL direction is perpendicular to HKL plane in a cubic system. Now, I note that these HK and L are the smallest possible integers that I can uh, use. So the nearest plane uh, basically nearest plane that is parallel to this HKL plane will contain the origin. So since by definition of Miller indices H, K and L are the smallest possible integers The nearest plane parallel to the HKL plane contains the origin. Okay. So, if I look at the vector, d vector, uh, that is a over h i hat plus a over k j hat plus a over l k hat, that points from the origin to my uh, plane at a right angle. So the distance between these HKL planes will be given by the magnitude of this vector, d, which is a square root of a square over h square plus a square over k square plus a square over l square, which is a over square root h square plus k square plus l square so this is true for a cubic crystal and if you remember in the lecture we have shown this by using cosine theorem so we we have drawn a perpendicular from the origin to our plane we looked at the angle this uh, uh, vector will make with the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis, and then we have written cosine square alpha plus cosine square beta plus cosine square gamma equals to 1. That is the cosine theorem, and that gives us this result. So uh, the distance between two parallel HKL planes, interplanar uh, spacing between two planes, is given by the lattice constant A divided by square root of h square plus k square plus l square. Okay, so to summarize, uh, we have shown that and the HKL direction is perpendicular to the HKL plane. 
And uh, we have shown this by picking two non-collinear vectors on this plane. And we looked at the dot product with a vector that points in the HKL direction. And we have seen that it is zero. So the dot product is zero. Therefore, this direction is perpendicular to this uh, plane because it's perpendicular to two non-collinear vectors that are on this plane simultaneously. And then the parallel, nearest parallel plane to the HKL plane, we have argued, must be containing the origin because the, by the definition of Miller indices, HK and L are smallest integers and uh, um, intercepts with the uh, x, y, and z axes will be at a over h, a over k, and a over l. And if I draw a vector from the uh, origin to this plane that is uh, at a right angle, the, the d vector, this vector is a over h i hat plus a over k j hat plus a over l uh, k hat, its magnitude uh, basically gives me the distance between two planes. Uh, which is a over square root h square plus k square plus l square. But uh, really to show that this vector that I have drawn here is perpendicular to this uh, plane, is, uh, instead of doing that, I could pick uh, a vector that is perpendicular to the plane and then use cosine theorem. Uh, so cosine of the angle, cosine square of the angle with the x-axis, y-axis and z-axis uh, that should be adding up to 1 by cosine theorem, uh, which is what we have shown in this lecture, week 2-1 Miller indices.